Hello boys and girls, Coach Michael here broadcasting live from my living room because when you have a great content you do not need green screens or special effects. Today we will talk about a great exercise that is rarely unfortunately used and to my humble opinion is misunderstood in relation to kettlebell sport and I am talking about the hand to hand swing. The good old usually used as a warm up movement. So, usually this exercise is associated, associated with hard style, heavy bells, explosive strings, you know, grind, lockout, boom, very swift, okay, like the karate, okay, punching swift of the arm, lock out and drive. Amazing, great, fine, but what the hell this one has to do in kettlebell sport? As I said, as a warm up, before I begin my snatch practice, nice, I can play with it, I can go size, like the bell size is ramping up to higher, like moving, moving, move, uh, Warming up my spine, my glutes, my legs, my drive, then snatch. Is it so? Almost. Now, here's the big secret or the hack. In kettlebell sport, hand-to-hand -hand swing is actually may be used and should be used as a practice for your snatch trajectory and eventually your clean trajectory. Because this exercise reveals whether you begin to chase the bell that coming creeps forward. Now, obviously, I exaggerate the movement. It doesn't happen this far, but it happens. Now, God is in details and snatch is in distance. Meaning this, this micro distancing from the body while snatching will accumulate to fatigue and to breaking of form when you want to do it for higher time, which is what kettlebell sport all about. It's not about doing five reps and it's not about doing 100 reps in five minutes. It's not even about five minutes. Because for snatching five minutes, you need just to have a mindset and you don't care if you tear your hands, grab a bell and snatch it. But if you want to go beyond five minutes, if you want to go for a single arm snatch, and some of my students did half marathon with a single switch, meaning 15 minutes on the right, 15 minutes on the left. Now, for these, you want your technique and your distance will be precise and perfect because you cannot allow yourself to bleed effort, to bleed force. So, in this case, when I switch hands, I am interested actually in what happens to the bell while she's in the air because I want her to see when I release, continue the movement up. Not a little bit forward, okay? Not a little bit forward and up, but immediately up. Because I know that from here, if everything is dialed in, meaning I'm doing my weight shifting, I'm do me, doing my high, high pull. Actually, I did a video about the high pulls. So you can check it out in my feed. Okay, I'm doing my high, high pull. I do everything to check the trajectory because between here, like between the switch and between the snatch, there is absolutely not no difference, nor it should be, right? So, how you practice, how we practice the hand-to-hand -hand swings? Easy, we just do hand-to-hand -hand swings for higher reps 
uh, higher reps is 20, between the 20 and the 50. Okay, because doing more than 50, it's too longer and redundant warm up. Unless you are a beginner and you practice in technique, okay, or your back is fatigued or you have some shoulder injury and you cannot snatch, then you may practice hand to hand switch. It's almost like slashing, snatching for longer reps. Unless this, between 20 to 50, is more than enough and usually like if you're going for a 50 is one set if you're going for the 20 you can do two sets done grab a bell begin snatching what we focus on is not the switch because it's, the switch is easy okay you're not practicing eye hand coordination now we are focusing on the air we are focusing on this very short moment when kettlebell freezes in the air and I want to see the distance and I also want to observe if my body did the axis foot shift, did the high pull, okay, rotation twist, basically that I've swung, bell is here and I'm is here because from here is the hand insertion and return to lockout. So, swing swing you see i'm bell in my right axis foot my left so i'm shifting and turning change shift and turn shift and turn shift and turn i also can release my arm and let the bell go up let the bell begin to drop so i'm waiting it is not a snatch technique, it's a specific technique to really, okay, like transform force to the bell and see how high can it go. Okay, so it's, I'm really stalling time here. So this is hand-to-hand -hand swing in relation to the kettlebell sport. Practice safe, practice smart, as usual. If you want to, form check, ask me a question, seek for my advice, want a programming custom made for yourself, anything, it's easy. Just reach me out. I'll gladly talk, explain, share my knowledge, share my experience, and level up your game. Right? Enjoy. See you in the next video.